Hello and welcome back to OC Avery. In today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to breed European siskins and their mutations. Um, so, let's get straight to it. So first off, I thought I'd just show you proof um, that I have bred siskins. So here you can see in this video, right here, are three European siskin chicks. Um, they've just jumped the nest today, um, and they are about... 10 to 12 days old I believe um, there is four however these are these three are the same sort of stage of development there is one more chick who is left in the nest um, who is obviously still getting fed by mom just uh, just a case of developing a few more days before it's safe to uh, leave the nest as well um, so there you are there there are three european siskin chicks so this is the nest site here uh the het which is being used um it's very simple it's a, an external uh nest pan what you would attach to a cage for example um and that's just covered in christmas tree fake christmas tree um and there we have a look in we can see the final siskin chick just resting um uh, i'm not sure if this one has been fed um yet i mean we, we, we talk we, it's now about half past four so the hen will be getting ready for final feed probably quite soon and then it'll be a case if she'll sit on them overnight and then they'll get the feed first thing in the morning so a few details on the diet I give the siskins to get them to breed. Um, I give them a almost uh, just a, a basic British finch mix, or uh, a, you could say a fancy canary mix. I'll show that on screen now. So as you see there, it's quite a mix of seeds. So there's a few grass seeds in there, niger seeds, linseed. Uh, there's a few millet seeds, and there's another type of seed I'm afraid I forgot the name of. Um, so that that's just as a base as a baseline uh, then when they're rearing i give them uh, live mealworms which i'll show you now dried mealworms which i'll show you now germinated seed which i will show you now and uh just a, a basic egg food uh, which i'll show you now so that's what i feed the siskins when they're um, rearing the chicks uh, that's at least been successful for me um, obviously there is other things you can supplement such as maybe maggots uh, but that's what i find works best so now uh, just some general tips and guidance i will give you for breeding siskins uh, and just the background story for me so i had a pair of siskins last year um which i'm sadly to say that i didn't breed um i did have them on eggs uh, three times but every time the copper destroyed the eggs before the hen could even begin sitting which leads me on to my first point so uh so with siskins this is my absolute like baseline rule if you are to breed siskins you have your cock bird in, the hen lays her first egg. She lays her first egg and then you have two options. You either remove that egg and replace it with a fake egg, or you leave that egg and just accept that there is a chance that the cock bird could destroy it. So that's the first egg. If you decide that you're going to leave the egg and take your chance, then I would say uh, the best thing you then to do is um, second egg. You know, okay, as you destroyed it, you're safe maybe to leave it if he hasn't destroyed the first egg within the first 24 hours. Um, however, uh, as it obviously uh, grows and she lays more eggs, the clutch size grows, and then uh, she sat. And then she sat on her eggs, and the cockbird hasn't got a hen to chase. So I would then say remove your cockbird because he gets very bored very quickly 
and will raid the nest and destroy your eggs. He'll chase your hen and her, her and damage her. Um, and it's just really not worth leaving the cockbird in. Uh, I did attempt this this year with uh, a new pair of siskins, which you're seeing the young of now. Um, this this pair um, had a nest, uh, a full clutch of five, uh, and they were outside in an aviary sharing with a pair of uh, exhibition greenfinches. Uh, had no issues whatsoever with them sharing, and um, the the eggs hatched. The ch we had five siskin chicks, all made it to two days old. Came out in the morning to find all on the floor, and it had the wings pretty much bitten off, uh, which was absolutely the cockbird because they're known for doing that. Um, so my advice is definitely remove the cockbird. Don't take a chance. Remove him as soon as the eggs have been laid and the hen is sitting. Do not leave it later. Um, usually you, you'll rarely get an issue with fertility in siskins, I've found anyway. Um, they're, they're very small birds, so they keep themselves fit in a, a decent sized cage. Um, and they're, they're, they're very quite simple to provide for. So there you are that's that's my advice with uh breeding siskins um little rule like little rules and information you do need to know so um presuming you're in the uk um and you decide you want to breed european siskins you do need to ring them as they're a native bird so you will need size b rings um which can be supplied from the bbc or the ioa um, I run these guys at five days old um, and then the other chick at seven days old just because it's uh, partially behind by a few days compared to the other threes you're seeing. Um, so the, that, that's, that's my advice when it comes to ringing them. They usually aren't very hard to ring. Uh, obviously just make sure the hen's off the nest um, and I prefer to ring them in the evening so they've had a full day's feed so the hen can then just sit on them overnight and then uh, carry on as normal in the morning uh, so that that's it that's it for for ringing them and just advice with ringing them they don't tend to have issues with throwing chicks once they've been rung uh, however i would always just say once you have rung them uh, please i advise that you keep your eye on them just to make sure that nothing's going wrong and you aren't going to lose your chicks um as it is i mean the cockbird isn't here now uh it's just the hen she's raised four uh to a, to a good age and they're all looking healthy so far at least uh, the cockbird i've put in an aviary uh with my other cockbird spare i had i used him for mules until uh the, the hen canary sadly passed uh, she was three so I've got some siskin mules as well uh, they aren't very hard to breed to be fair um, I had them in a double breeder wire cage and had no issues really just again let the hen canary lay and then remove the cock bird and then she's raised the chicks fine and once the chicks had fledged uh, and were eaten by themselves I introduced him again just uh, meet his young and just see how everything went everything was fine remove the young and then they went back down for a second round uh, so uh, the case with these and when i will put the cockbird back in so the hen can go for a, another round i would definitely be saying uh, giving these guys at least a week until they're all on the perches uh, they're eating they're flying no problem so that they do have uh, some chance of getting away from him in the event that they need to uh, so yeah, it will, it will be at least a week before I reintroduce the cockbird, making these guys three weeks old um, by the time it comes to it. And as you can see, all these young birds are quite healthy and happy. Um, obviously, there's, I can't really be a judge of quality at the moment with these guys so far. Uh, they're, they're just a bit too small to see any coloration um however what you do tend to look for in cockbirds and hens for for showing so for a cockbird you're looking for that that black uh, bib almost under the chin under the beak 
uh, and a, a, a jet black cap as well as uh, quite quite decent colours and markings um, as for a hen you'll find that hens are always going to be doing better in shows so it's rare that you'll have a um, a coxy skin winner show because they can't be judged as easily because of the markings aren't as defined have with hens which I'll show you now this is an example of a very good hen uh, that is I, I believe this bird will have won quite a few shows including the Stafford National and the other British bird shows so uh, as you can see on this bird it's got a uh, very defined markings on the chest um, a very good coloration uh, for for a siskin hen um, and obviously if you, you can get a, a yellow siskin hen uh, by this i mean yellow as the color intensity not buff um, you will find that you win a hell of a lot of shows with a bird like this so that's all for this video and that concludes it really um, as it goes for nest material which i'll just add um, it's just jute uh, i wouldn't recommend cotton because it can tangle on the chick's legs quite easily uh, but naturally occurring fibers that haven't been processed like cotton should be absolutely fine so yeah they, they do use a bit of cocoa fiber uh, but not not loads so just give your siskins a selection of soft uh, nest material and uh, hopefully you should be on your way to breeding siskins uh, i'll just back out now to show you that this is a three foot by three foot cage 18 inches deep um i did try them in a double breeder like that and had no success whatsoever as soon as i moved them into here absolutely fantastic um and obviously we have chicks so uh, that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you're new please subscribe uh, if you like the video put a thumbs up if you didn't like the video uh, just leave a comment in the description as to why and uh, it's in the comment section and i'm more than happy to try and improve my videos the best i can um so thank you and we'll see you in the next one